Hello and good evening. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, players of the League of Legends community. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for no video yesterday. Uh, I've been a bit worn out. Last Thursday, one of my cousins died. Uh, he was 47 years old, he had a family and everything, and due to health complications, he passed away. So I was a bit busy, despite uh, having some leftover footage from Overwatch, I was still busy and I could not do something tangible. Now, I was thinking, maybe I should put a video explaining why am I not uploading League of Legends footage or even talking about League of, Le League of Legends in general. Although I did talk about it a bit in my initial Overwatch video that I talked about before the season starts and I thought I'll get this over with and tell you what is the main or why what are the reasons why I am not playing League of Legends and why did I drop the game a game that I have been playing since 2009 so let's before we dive into that, um, how about I tell you a bit my history about League of Legends, who am I, and all things you need to know about me in coalition to League of Legends. So, I have been playing League since 2009, and I have not stopped playing League of Legends a day, all up to you to late 2017 where I decided it's time for me to stop and I did not stop because the game was dull or I was fatigued no 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 there are other reasons so League of Legends is without a doubt my biggest game most of my achievements are related to League of Legends most of the term tournaments I've won um, the highest ranked I ever been. I've played with pro gamers. I've been in many, many places. Uh, I've known popular people and I kinda became semi popular in League of Legends. And for the longest time, I thought I'm gonna have League of Legends as the focus game in my YouTube channel. I've always had this dream of creating a YouTube channel, uploading videos, and back then, League of Legends was my center game. It was the game I was playing for like up to 10, 13 hours a day. And of course, without a doubt, I thought it's gonna be it. I had in mind videos of tutorials, tips and tricks, things that other YouTube channels I'm talking about maybe podcasts, maybe, you know, bring in guests left and right, especially since I've knew some ex and current pro gamers at the time. I was like, this should be really good. Of course, I did not have the material and not the material, the computer that could handle this. I didn't have a good microphone. I did not have a good headset. You know, the, the normal problems that you would think about. And when I did create my channel, when I did start uploading, I still had it in mind. But I had stopped almost completely playing League of Legends. And then I dropped it completely. And you ask me, why? So at the first, I wasn't even aware of this. Like, I did not even realize about it's just because the game changed. And it not, did not change for the good, it changed for the bad. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about the gameplay because they did some good changes to the gameplay with the new rune system, it's a simplified system. They brought everyone to the same level. So if you have a level 1 account or a level 30 account, uh, there is no level 30 now because they removed the level cap, it makes no difference. So... It used to be whoever had level 3 runes 
will have a significant advantage to a guy who just started playing. So it was a bit of an unfair advantage. Uh, people always complained about it and finally they removed it. And that's great. But other than that, League of Legends has been implementing one mechanic at the time and after another, uh, excuse me, and I'm talking about the worst microtransaction mechanics you are seeing now. The things that we every online gamer is complaining about, you can find in League of Legends. From loot boxes, to microtransactions, to compendium-ish, to quests, to so many of these systems are in League of Legends. That's one of the main reasons that made me stop the game. Now, before the loot box system, I noticed something, like when there was no boxes and keys in League of Legends, we were playing a lot the game. We were playing together, we were having fun. And then when they implemented the loot boxes, we began to not play together. People were grinding, people wanted to win because they wanted that shiny loot box so that you get that random champion that you already have. And that's when things started going downhill. Like people weren't having as much fun, there was frustration and so on and so forth. So that's already the number one sign why my activity in League of Legends started dropping. But I still played and I still participated and I still played ranked every season. Now, in the last season it was okay, but season seven, season seven was a disaster for me. Like, I'm used to toxicity, but season seven's level of toxicity is uncanny. And I'm talking about one game after the other where people are extremely toxic, extremely hating toward each other. You can see people staying, standing still and just typing these books of insults and verbal abuse and everything. And it robbed, it robbed on me. I found myself doing the same almost. And I spent so much time trying to be a better person so much time trying to improve and be calmer because i used to be that guy i used to be a rager and at the time i did not understand the secret behind not being you know a toxic person but here i am coming back to the game and doing the same thing that i did once before I was like, no, 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 this this cannot be true. I am not this guy anymore, and I am not going to be playing a game where this is happening. Now, part of the frustration that ranked system brought me is this s system, this rank they they decided to create, the flex and solo slash duo queue. They divided the community, so if you want to go play flex, you will be dropped randomly with players with other levels you can be with a challenger you can be with a bronze and it's just chaotic and people do not take it seriously there's a lot of trolling so if you want to climb there you have to understand it's completely random you can be lucky and you can get people who play together and you know eventually win but you can be completely unlucky like me and you'll find people who go AFK, you'll find challenger accounts that just don't take the game seriously, and so on and so forth. It's kind of their right, because it's flex queue. So you go back to solo queue, where things are a bit serious. Well, guess what? Not only the toxicity level is unbearable, but I, I don't know, is it just me, or is the ranked system kind of busted. The algorithm that puts us with players together is not right. I've been playing this game, like I said, from the beginning. Each season was alright. 
I was put with players on my kind of same level as me. Like uh, you see their accounts, you go to the um, to the profiles, you see their current level, and you're like, yeah, he's like me, or maybe one division lower than me. But in season seven, I was put, I was silver one, for example, in my promotions, and they put me with a bronze one diamond, a uh, vein diamond. Uh, a vein that's amazing I'm, I'm i'm in my second promotion for example and they give me a katarina that never played ranked that was the first time the guy plays ranked doesn't even have the rules that's things these things kind of ruin it for me and i have you know, the list goes on and on and on i have screenshots i've contacted uh, riot support and I, I even provided them with these screen screenshots and asked them why. And you get this half-assed uh, answer that sometimes the system tries to pair strong players with weaker players so you can help each other and win. But the problem is you can put me with weaker players who do not even know how to last hit and I will just lose the game. And instead of being the diamond platinum that I used to be, now I'm a simple silver and that kind of frustrated me and at the same time I was playing Overwatch in Coalition like in between I wasn't really serious like in Overwatch like I am right now and I noticed that most of the time I get paired with people who are next almost like points apart from me and that resulted to games who are balanced when I lose I have fun losing because I did not do something right. Even when people are frustrated, to this day, and I trust me, I have put a ton of time in Overwatch lately. It's nothing compared to League of Legends. Because, after all, we're equal. Even you can you can focus on the things that I used to focus on in League of Legends. So we're losing. So someone is AFK. So what? All I need to do is focus on my last hitting, focus on what I need to do, uh, buy an item, my positioning, things that will make me a better player overall. But the games in League of Legends became like a big zoo. It's a forest. You cannot focus on anything because there is no structure. All people do is AFK rage. And that got to me. That got to me. I tried my best to make people, you know, try to enjoy the game and all I did was more negativity and I blame this mainly on the fact that there is no voice communication in League of Legends. They said they are considering it, you know, the normal response of a company. Maybe they would consider it in a game where team play is crucial, where communication is key. It kinds my, it kind of hurts me to see that I cannot coordinate with the players that you are seeing right now. We could not do anything that if I want to dive into tower, I have to stop playing, press enter and chat. Okay, you tell me uh, you need to get a team and be on Discord or TeamSpeak or whatever voice communicating thingy together and you can do so. But what if I don't have a team? What if I'm just a solo player? I play alone. I don't play with my friends. My friends do not play League of Legends. So many things. Why should I... Or why can't I have voice communication with the team? And I can assure you, people are saying that, uh, you know, uh, with the level of toxicity of League of Legends, it's going to be a step backward and people are going to be raging in the voice chat. Well, hear me out. Would you rather someone literally afk as a truck passes by my left um, would you rather people say afk and type in the chat and miss out on last hitting miss out on experience miss out on potential gangs from their jungler just because they wanted to type a sentence where 95 percent of that sentence is them talking gibberish and you know, just insulting someone, or rather do it in a voice chat where you can mute people, 
where you can just argue about something while playing, while not wasting time. And I'm not even saying talking about the positive side of having a voice chat. Someone can be having a bad day and you can try to calm them down. It happened to me in Overwatch. People were not having a good day. People were angry. They were coming from a series of defeats. And I tried to calm them down. I tried to um, help them and coordinate with the team. And it worked many times. As well as it didn't work many times. But nevertheless, everyone was playing. Everyone did not stop. Everyone did not go AFK. The amount of people going AFK is almost in the 0% category for me. I have yet to see someone just staying in the spawn in Heroes or in Overwatch and you know just type in the chat or something just the thing that happens so frequently in League of Legends. Yes there is someone who picks Hanzo, yes there is someone who picks Symmetra, does the teleporter so that we teleported, get teleported away but that's so far apart that I can't even remember when was the last game where someone was trolling and believe me right now in Overwatch I am almost diamond and in last season, I was silver. I dropped from diamond to silver because I needed to get better at the game. I needed to widen my hero pool. So I was expecting to drop and I dropped. And even in silver, we don't find that many rages in comparison to League of Legends. But in League, and I'm talking about last season, every single game was people having a bad day. One person dies and it's the same chat messages you see in every game. GG well played. This game is lost. Report this guy. Report that guy. I'm gonna go AFK. I'm gonna troll now. You guys suck. All the negative class. It's like you feel like you're playing with bots that have pre-programmed sentences that they keep saying over and over again. And that's partly because there is no voice system. Even in 2018, this match is today's match. It's generally, January, January, <laughs> excuse my English. It's January 16, 2018. And the game is no different whatsoever from generally, January, ah, my English man, work with me English, please. January 2000 and say, 14 or maybe 15 it's the same thing i don't even need to go and look at what items should i build with tristana because i know that these items are the best they're not going to change but it doesn't matter to me because right now i think the game in general is in a good standing the balance and everything there are many things left and right they keep tweaking they keep adding things but i am fine with it but what I am not fine with is the fact that they are doing nothing to improve the community. They are not trying to make the community better. I mean, sure, you cannot change humans, you cannot change the human nature, but you can influence humans. You can take procedures. You can tell people that if you are toxic you cannot get permanently banned i know friends irl who are extremely toxic i keep talking to them don't do this don't be toxic like this and they don't care they nothing happens to them all they get is those 10 chat bans with all this restriction or that slapping the, the hand don't be toxic message it doesn't do anything it just makes people understand that there is no repercussion. I'm sure you get tell me that people are getting banned, but come on, you get banned, you create another account, and, or you buy another account, and so on and so forth. But there needs to be something from Riot Games to make things right. And toxicity aside, one of the other glaring issues that I see is that there is a constant influx of new players and these constant influx of new players probably do not are not used to playing MOBA games 
This is prob probably League of Legends is the first game they ever played. And they do not have the notions, they do not know the base, they do not know the concept of playing a MOBA game. When I, when I started playing League of Legends, many of the players at the time were Dota veterans, Warcraft veterans, World of Warcraft veterans, and despite not having a meta like right now with the healer support and everything, you still find people playing tanks, they knew their role, they are playing DPS, they know what to do, they know about positioning, later they knew that last hitting is crucial, and you did not need to do much in order to make them understand. In, even in lower ranks, because I played in silver in many seasons, I played in bronze in many seasons. And despite the obvious problems that you see in those divisions, you will not see someone who does not understand the concept of last hitting. Nowadays, you see these things like complete ignorance. People do not know what to do. They do not know what a support does. They do not know what a tank is. All they do is try to get kills and just move with the flow. And I think this is a big problem. And this is one of the problems that contribute to the fact that League of Legends is a bit of cesspool of toxicity. Because one of the main problems around toxicity is lack of knowledge. And all these things in culmination decided so that it's time for me to drop League of Legends in favor for Overwatch. Because Overwatch for me is a step in the right decision, in the, in the right way. And they are doing many things to make the community a positive place. They are talking about the issue of toxicity actively. They are doing things in order for people to be more involved and more positive. Whereas in Riot Games, all I've seen these days is new skins, new events, new um, quests. And I hate the fact that every time I log into the game, the thingy starts blinking and telling me that, that I have new quests and I need to do them. I do not want to do quests. I want to play ranked. I, not to, I want to get better. But nowadays, everyone is focused on quests and doing better. So, I dropped League of Legends after eight years, eight years of actively playing League of Legends. It was time for me to say goodbye and say goodbye I did. Of course, I will be back to play the League once they implement voice chat, once they rework their ranked system or do some improvement to it so it could become a better place. So maybe then I'll be back. But for the time being, I am happy in Overwatch, I'm learning new things, I'm having a great time, and even when I'm not in a good mood, I still have a good time. So, these were the reasons why I dropped the Legends. I thought I'd give light to the matter, and I thought this would be my letter, my open letter to Riot Games to maybe heed my calls and do something for the game. And this is not coming from someone who played two days or three days on League of Legends. It's coming from someone who played a significant portion of his life in League of Legends. So hopefully things will change in the future. Although there's nothing changed. The season began and there's absolutely nothing changed. But maybe, just maybe, they will do something. This has been a good day this um, I hope you are having a good day as usual. And I will see you guys when I see you. Until then, have a great day.